take it we have a lot of sweater trades to look forward to this season. Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. There's this Neanderthal who's made it his mission to make my life a living hell. But nobody seems to notice. I know how you feel. You can refuse to be the victim. Prejudice is just ignorance, Kurt. And you have a chance right now to teach him. How? Confront him. Call him out. Girls' locker rooms next door. What is your problem? Excuse me. What are you so scared of? Besides you sneaking in here to peek at my junk? Oh, yeah, every stray guy's nightmare that all us gays are secretly out to molest and convert you. Well, guess what, Hamhawk? You're not my type. That right? Yeah. I don't dig on chubby boys who sweat too much and are gonna be bald by the time they're 30. Do not push me, Hummel. You gonna hit me? Do it. Don't push me. Hit me because it's not gonna change who I am. You can't punch the gay out of me any more than I can punch the ignoramus out of you. Stick it out of my face! You are nothing but a scared little boy who can't handle how extraordinarily ordinary you are! Thanks again for coming. Don't worry about it. Just let me do the talking. There he is. I got your back. Excuse me. Hey, lady boys. Is your boyfriend, Kurt? Kurt and I would like to talk to you about something. I gotta go to class. Kurt told me what you did. Oh, yeah? What's that? You kissed me. I don't know what you're talking about. It seems like you might be a little confused. And that's totally normal. This is a, a very hard thing to come to terms with, and you should just know that you're not alone. Do not let go. You have to stop this! Well, he's not coming in anytime soon. What's going on? Why are you so upset? Because until yesterday, I had never been kissed. Or at least, when they counted. Come on. I'll buy you lunch. Uh, a medium drip and a grande non fat mocha for this guy, and maybe I can get him to split one of those cupid cookies. You know my coffee order? Of course I do. That'll be 840. Don't even bother, dummy. It's on me. Keep the change. What the hell are you two doing here? We're here for the benefit. Don't tell me you're going. I wouldn't be caught dead. I was pumping iron in the gym, and one of the guys told me you two were here spreading your fairy dust all over the place. Would you just give it up? You can live whatever lie you want, but don't pretend the three of us don't know what's really going on here. You don't know squat, butt boy. Hey, hey no, guys, stop! Real brave with your fist, but you're a coward when it comes to the truth. Truth about what? It's none of your business, J-Lo. First of all, anything you do became my business when you decided to toss that slushy up in my grill. I think I can take a couple of queers and a girl. <laughs> See, here's what's gonna go down. Two choices. You stay here and I crack one of your nuts, right or left, that's your choice, or you walk away and live to be a douchebag another day. Oh, and also, I have razor blades hidden in my hair. Mm-hmm. Tons, just all up in there. Mm-hmm. We could handle that. It was more fun doing it together.
And now behold the tradition of our 2011 prom king and queen hearing their first dance. Nash, moment. What? Come out. Make a difference. Excuse me. Oh, may I have this dance? Yes. It's here. I don't know if you heard, but Blaine may lose an eye. The same Blaine who was just besties with most of you not four months ago. Waiter, are you serious? Is he gonna be okay? Well, sure, if he doesn't care about singing three dimensions. Trent, I got this. Bummer about Blaine, he was pretty. He shouldn't have gotten in the way, though. That slushy was meant for Kurt. Kurt, would you like to sing this last duet with me? If you all came here to get to know me tonight, there's no better way than seeing me with my one true love. Love is all you need. He loves you. 